these MAGA Republicans moda operandi is just lying, cheating, and stealing. I've seen it on the federal stage all the way down to the local stage. The local MAGA type business people here for years have been willing to lie, cheat, and steal. And if they don't like you or disagree with you in any way, they have no problem ganging up on you and running you out of the picture. Just like they do on the federal level, just like they did in Congress to all the, you know, conservative right wing, you know, Republicans that used to be there. All these extremists ran him the fuck out of town. They are pragmatists in the sense that they'll do literally anything to help themselves in that moment. Their logic isn't linear at all from debate to debate. And that's what the most frustrating thing to me is. And they're professional gaslighters and they project all the time. When any MAGA Republican says anything, it's a confession and they're just basically admitting their guilt and trying to project that on us. They know they're wrong and they're trying to flip the script on you to make it seem like you're part of the problem. And that's what these folks do. And they sometimes gaslight without even knowing the definition of what gaslighting is. <laughs> like they don't know the definitions of gaslighting. They don't know the definition of projection. They don't know the definition of authoritarianism. They don't even know the definitions of the words in the definitions to define fascism. <laughs> they don't understand that there's like a 14 part process to defining fascism. They think that you can just define fascism in one quick definition. Like that's how, what they're used to. <laughs> they don't understand that there's a whole nother gear to critical thought. <laughs> they don't understand what court cases mean. They don't even remember the names of these court cases. They don't know what the definitions of the words being used to talk about the cases are. They don't even know the definitions of the words that they're using to talk about the cases, much less the outcomes of these cases. It's the most upsetting thing to a professional and to a educated person I've, I've ever come in contact with. And to watch these shit stains continue to try to cause this discord, um, this cause this discourse in this discord is pathetic. <laughs> and I'm really shocked that anybody's even giving them the fucking time of day. We spent tons of money to be educated to know this shit and we're just letting these third party multinational corporations and zealot bigots, faux zealot bigots, billionaire faux zealot bigots in other countries just fucking play with your fucking minds. <laughs> and I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting fucking pissed. Like stop letting them fucking just weasel their way into every goddamn pow power structure that we have available. And that we might start seeing some positive change. We may not see fuck tons of inflation. We may not see just gaps in social welfare. We may not see people crying and screaming about life being just fucking horrific. We, it, life may be palatable. It could, it, we could have a baseline of just success, healthy living for most all humans if we could just get these fuck faces out of the fucking picture. These fuck faces who can't even fucking pronounce authoritarianism, <laughs> much less define it. And authoritarianism, authoritarianism is one small facet of fascism. Does it align with fascism? Is it the same? Pretty much. But they would call fascism authoritarianism if fascism was authoritarianism. But you see, in college, we, t we learn about the slight differences between these words. That's why they have different fucking words for different things. That's why they don't call sex the same fucking thing as gender. Otherwise, if they were the same fucking thing, they would call them the same fucking thing. MAGA Republicans are all about the grift and they're totally fine with doing illegal things just to take you out of the picture. Even before they were losing their ass all the time, they were willing to lie, cheat, and steal. So you can just imagine what these MAGA Republicans are willing to do to hold on to control, power, money, etc. They will lie, steal, and cheat their way back into the White House, back into the Senate, back into, you know, whatever, you know, part of the country that they were flushed out of, they're gonna try to weasel their way back in in any way possible. And, you know, being criminal is not off the table to these guys. <laughs> they are not the party of law and order. They absolutely shit on our rule of law and it's their livelihood. That's the way they operate. They have no problem cheating all day, every day at golf, even when they play golf. 
It's insane. They cheat at literally fucking everything. They cheat on their wives. They cheat playing sports. They cheat in business. They'll cheat in politics. They'll lie to your fucking face and have no problem. As long as it serves them in some fashion, no fucking problem. They will not lose any sleep about fucking you over. <laughs> and they'll act really sweet and polite. And they'll act like they're fucking innocent in the process. And they're fucking professional gaslighters and every fucking thing that comes out of their mouth is a fucking admission and all these creators are right about that that their their projection is their confession these are fucking low iq operators with mental illness and they think we're as fucking dumb as them get them the fuck out of the fucking way and let's fucking take care of the people that need it now i spent years reading studying going to college and you know being interested and having questions so a lot of that spirit has help me to unpack or unearth a lot of this. The problem I see with most MAGA Republicans and young Republicans, these MAGA Republicans and especially young MAGA Republicans are missing the fact that they are not engaging in critical thought. The uh, higher education was demonized to these kids and since it's so expensive, it was kind of easy to, to do that to everybody. Uh, but they demonized higher education, they demonized critical thought. And when it comes time for these folks to practice that, they don't have those skills and they don't understand history. They don't know history because history was whitewashed by these same folks the past hundred years. And as we relearn learn history, they're not catching up. They're not, they're not keeping up. They never found out how to determine the difference between primary, secondary, and tertiary sources. All these neophytes in politics, what they seem to do is they rely on tertiary sources like Wiki and Google. And if it doesn't fit their agenda or if it doesn't fit their narrative, what's said in those tertiary or secondary sources, they just think it's fake news and they don't know to dig in and find the actual primary source. Or, or people from Russia and the United States or China or anywhere else in the country or elsewhere in the world, they'll actually try to buff these disinformation and misinformation posts to make them closer to Google. So when you do type in those keys, keyword searches, you're actually seeing misinformation and disinformation because the, peop uh, the people administering and the people moderating Google don't even know. So that's the problem is the moderators aren't educated and the trolls know that the people, the general population aren't educated. And the, the trolls aren't the ones who came up with this. It's, it's somebody at the top like Putin um, or Roger Stone, they understand the nuance of this propaganda. I'm not saying that the, that the foot soldiers who, who push and peddle all this stuff, they don't understand it. You, you cross them on any of this stuff, they fucking just get, they get folded up by like a fucking lawn chair. You know, they can't fucking debate. They, none of this is original thought to them. They don't know how they got to any of these uh, thought processes. They just know that they're, you know, key talking points and they just regurgitate and they try to talk over. That's all that these fucking people do. They fucking steamroll the shit out of you. They can't go one inch. They cannot penetrate one inch into any fucking uh, thought process. And they rely on talking points from people who are, are, are craftily very smart and they, they're, they're not even caught up in cognitive, cognitive dissonance. They know they're bad actors. They're trying to manipulate the process and the system. They're trying to manipulate people. They're trying to manipulate geopolitics. They're trying to rewrite history. They're trying to create narratives. They're trying to control the narrative. That's all these folks are doing. It's just they're trying to fucking flood the zone with their narrative enough to, to make it reality. And that's, that's what they do. And if you don't know anything about a topic and you rush into it with your feelings based off the propaganda that you've heard from Putin and the right, you know, you're going to look like a fool if you stick in that debate longer than a couple minutes. You're going to have no fucking recourse. You're going to get fucking dog walked. They're going to walk you in circles. And history is not going to judge you guys well, considering that you're on the wrong side of history. You're going to be laughed at. It's not going to age well. None of your content's going to age well. All of it is it's going to be a slap in the face to you and your kids and everybody that comes afterwards. Like it's going to be documented. They're going to attach your name to this shit. <laughs> so try to think about that in the future. And Trump actually proved to us that one man can actually control the cost of gasoline. And, you know, per Tommy and the Midas touch and other creators that are clued in on this stuff, Donald Trump signed the OPEC plus agreement.
Donald Trump signed the OPEC plus deal that cut us out of a lot of oil production and we went fucking scampering to use our reserves and then we refilled the reserves. But, you know, that was in direct reaction to, you know, a global issue that was compounded by one man. <laughs> he actually found a way to increase the prices. And um, as far as the pipeline, the Keystone pipeline that you guys talk about, uh, as they talk about in the carrot patch, it's not even the type of oil that we'd use to run our vehicles. And the oil, you know, from Canada going through the U.S. with the Keystone Pipeline, it wasn't even going to us. <laughs> Plus, we're producing more oil than we ever have now. <laughs> and, like, we replace and we replenish those reserves. So, like, if you guys don't follow Mr. Global on TikTok, or if you don't, you know, check in with the Carrot Patch on TikTok, or if you don't fucking follow Midas Touch on YouTube, you're going to get fucking run over in the next three fucking months. <laughs> you're going to get fucking run over by disinformation, misinformation, and you're going to probably ruin relationships with very smart people that you don't want to ruin relationships with. <laughs> like, life is a fucking marathon. you got some people in your fucking corner that are intelligent and educated, and you're going to alienate yourself from them if you fucking keep pushing this propaganda. And yes, there's propaganda everywhere. Propaganda exists. But there's propaganda that's fucking inaccurate and there's propaganda that's fucking accurate. And all the propaganda that comes from MAGA, Wright, and Putin is all disinformation. We can prove it, every fucking single line, every single line of it. And the reason why we can't prove it is because they just skip from line to line to line to line to line and you all just hear all these stupid talking points and the creators that know the answers and know that this disinformation don't have the time to respond to each one of these stochastic terrorists threat against our fucking goddamn country. They don't allow our fucking president, our vice president, our senators, our content creators, our journalists to come back and ask the fucking question on the point they just made. They just skip to the next one. And that's why we call, that's why we say that this is fucking highway off ramps to fucking nowhere. <laughs> it's because none of it fucking makes sense. It's mindless psycho fucking babble. I can debunk every fucking goddamn thing any fucking MAGA Republican has ever fucking said to you. And I partied my way all the way through college. I was literally like not conscious in college. But I was conscious enough to know what totalitarianism is. To understand the threat of authoritarianism. To get out of myself for a moment to fucking engage with what the definition of, of fascism, to engage what the definition of fascism is, and then to be able to identify it and call it out. I know what fascism leads to. I don't want to deal with that. I'm a horn frog. I'll thrive in any condition. I don't give a fuck. You put President fucking Trump in that office, I'll fucking be successful still. <laughs> I'll find a way to be successful still. But that doesn't stop the fact that it's going to cause so much heartache, frustration, devastation, destruction across so many groups of people in this country and around the world. So I don't give a fuck about myself right now. I care about my, my extended family. I care about your extended family. I care about you and I care about people that I've never met all over this country and this world because I know, I know the plight of being a human. Like I know what it is to struggle. I know what it is to feel powerless. I know what it is to feel ganged up on. I know what it's like to feel all these things. And I don't like how they're pushing everybody around. And I don't like how, you know, the people, the disenfranchised have no advocacy. And I may not have all the resources in the world to fucking do all this, but at least I can use my fucking voice and I can use the education and I can speak out against this. And the minute I have the resources to fight against this, you can fucking bet your fucking goddamn boots that I'm going to fucking tear down these motherfuckers any chance I fucking can get. And if you can help like and subscribe, I will fucking use my education against these guys. I will. And lastly, I'll thank Tommy and the Carrot Patch and Midas Touch for most anything that comes out of my mouth. I'm not trying to pretend like I just know all this shit out of the, off the top of my head.